Body dysmorphia, a hot topic online today. It's a condition where a person spends a lot of time worrying about their flaws and appearance. Time and time again, you can see only a certain type of person portrayed in the media and films, models pictured in clothing stores. It's led to just about everyone questioning their own appearance. But finally, Disney has introduced a character to help change the narrative. <laughs> Reflect is a Disney Plus short film about a ballet dancer who battles her own reflection, overcoming doubt and fear by channeling her inner strength, grace, and power. Well, I mean, it had me tear up and thousands of others, too, who turned to TikTok, saying they absolutely needed this as a child. Tight tummy, long neck. And Kelly Botello joins us now with more. Kelly, what have the experts been saying today on this story? Hey, Nicole, body representation advocates say it's great that Disney is highlighting body image struggles that many people face and hope this is the first of many plus size protagonists in Disney movies. Tight tummy, long neck. A battle with the girl in the mirror. In the new Disney short film, Reflect, ballet dancer Bianca struggles with body dysmorphia. She's the first ever plus-size Disney heroine. People are understandably feeling like very moved by it, by seeing their story um, portrayed, you know, in such, by such a large filmmaking company, right? Body representation advocate Megan Ray says it's so important for children to see body types that look like their own and remembers her personal struggles with her own body as a child. I was definitely bullied as a kid and it was it was really hard growing up, you know, in the 90s, you know, it was a pretty tough time when Kate Moss, her whole thing was like, um, nothing tastes as good as skinny feels, you know? and. Everybody wanted to be uh, very slender, very slim. And, and for me, unfortunately, like my world revolved around, um, you know, being too chubby and not being desirable and not being worthy. Psychotherapist Chad Tomlinson says girls and women seem to suffer more with body image issues, but men are not immune. We all have this little negative voice in our brain. You know, cartoons had a really great image of the angel on one side and the devil on the other. That negative voice just starts twisting what's really going on. One of the worst things for people are mirrors. Online, people are sharing their own stories, like Olympian medalist Caitlin Hawaiik, who recently shared what a so-called fan whispered in her ear. While we were taking that photo, uh, the person kind of pulled me close and whispered in my ear, um, I have a secret to tell you, my dear, uh, you need to lose a lot of weight. It is never your place to make a comment about an athlete's body, period. Every single athlete out there on the ice has things that they're dealing with beneath the surface that you can't see or know about. And speaking from experience, negative comments can lead to so many feelings of shame and feeling like you need to fix your body. And Taylor Swift fans spoke out too, criticizing the scene where Swift steps on the scale in her new anti-hero music video the display reading fat. It's me, hi, I'm the problem, it's me. Swift listened and changed the video. Ray saying while Swift can very well battle her own body dysmorphia, she is still a slender woman and fat isn't a feeling. I think that scale could have easily said unworthy or not good enough. And that might've been an even more impactful message. In the short film, Bianca eventually finds inner strength and acceptance in her reflection and carries on dancing. Ray says, while it's good to see Disney shedding light on body dysmorphia, there's more to the story that isn't shared. I think it's dangerous to tell the story that um, self-love is all that matters when, you know, we live in a fat phobic society and a lot of these beliefs are coming from our dance teachers, you know, like in the film or our peers or our families. And that's really what has to change. Ray says it's about damn time young people have body positive role models to look up to. And she says one of her favorites is pop star Lizzo. She says she hopes this opens up a broader conversation. Nicole.